this Gambala Mirage GT is based on the Porsche Carrera GT and this is a very very extensive body kit so there's a lot of details that you'll notice when you look at it the headlights are pretty much the same but uh, now you have these uh, neon green fittings which of course match the interior front end is completely different so you have air curtains on the side you have new vents carbon fiber front splitter uh, new air vent which channels air here and of course that air comes out through the vents here and of course uh, above the uh, logo so you have a new logo as well by Gambala the hood is also uh, in exposed carbon fiber the wheels are new the brake calipers are new now you have a central uh, nut uh, for the wheels you get a uh, vent here to let the air out when the front wheels are spinning the door side skirt they've also been replaced with carbon fiber you get the Mirage GT logo there and of course you get in the carbon fiber on the the door mirrors you get it on the seats you get it on the interior you get it pretty much all over the dash upholstery has also been completely changed so the interior feels very very different but looks are subjective i don't like uh, the finish of the paint i don't know there's something about it which is just a little off of course you get a new engine bay and that of course ha uh, has this new uh, roof scoop which it channels air directly into the engine to keep it cool you get a reverse camera as well to help you park and of course new fittings for the uh, engine so you can have the Gambara logo on them as well so overall the green and the gray color combination is just odd it's still very strange but there's more changes of course uh, now the retractable spoiler wing is fit, uh, replaced with the fixed spoiler wing and then you get a small wing on uh, your main wing Tail lights are pretty much the same, but of course the rear bumper has also been completely replaced with a new one with vents here, uh, vents on the top as well. And you have now four exhaust pipes with the new diffuser. You get a new, uh, you get in fact two uh, uh, vents here to let the air out when the uh, you know engine is heating it up. And of course a new uh, diffuser with the racing lights. So overall, yeah, this is a very, very extensive body kit. Performance has also been enhanced thanks to the engine tune-up. So the engine is the same. It's a 5.7 liter V10 engine, and now it makes 680 horsepower. So that's almost a 70 horsepower increase. Top speed is around 335 miles per hour, which is around 208, 209 miles per hour, in case you're interested. And of course, I'm sure the Z60 time is also a little faster. But I'm sure uh, fans of Porsche would prefer the 918 or someone or other people would prefer to have the SLR McLaren Roadster instead of this. And I'm sure uh, Carrera GT fans would say that the Carrera GT never needed a body kit by Gambala. So Gambala is pretty much non-existent now uh, and uh, their body kits are subjective. This one is, I have mixed reaction for this one. Anyway, uh, Gambala only made 25 of these uh, body kits for the Carrera GT and of course the Carrera GTs already are very very rare so I'm, I'm glad they didn't ruin many more of them. This one is a little special, this one if you can see the seal number it says 25 or 25, let me try to get a good view of that. So this is the final version, uh, final model of the uh, Mirage GT body kit so it's a little special. Now, if you want to check out more videos of Porsches, like the 911 GT1, the GT1 racing car, uh, the uh, Le Mans racing cars from 70s, 80s, including the newer ones, check those out as well. Just head on down to the video's description for names and links. Look at how they've made the fender open so that the air comes out when the front wheels are spinning. So overall, performance-wise, I'm sure this is um, much better, but looks-wise, it's subjective. Now, if you want to check out videos of other supercars, hypercars, exotic cars, luxury cars, anything, just have a look at my channel. You'll find some bikes there as well.